Welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl finally long back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Muslims and Arrogant People. I made to that. And a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing. Everything that you guys do never goes unnoticed. We're very, very grateful. And I hope you guys are doing all right. And may you stay blessed. And a big shout out to everyone that keeps on giving us stuff to do. You guys are the reason that we do this each and every day. And we appreciate each one of you guys. If you feel like we should react to something, drop the link in the comment section below. And we'll be more than glad to do it. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. What is he talking about? So start with him. The ordinary man, the fellow worker with you, who's working with you. He's working with you. Talk to him nicely. Talk to everybody nicely. Assuming that the guy's good. He says, you know, you start. How do you start? With a Christian. He says, you know, we believe in Jesus. He says, what? We believe in Jesus. He says, what? He's thinking you want to carry favor with him. Hmm? He says, you know, we believe he's one of the mightiest messengers of God. He says, yeah. He says, yes. He says, you know, we believe that Jesus was born miraculously without any male intervention which many modern day Christians, including the bishops of the Anglican Church, they don't believe, but we believe. Did you know that? The bishops of the Anglican Church, they don't believe, but we believe. We believe that Jesus was the Messiah, the Messiah, translated Christ. We believe he gave life back to the dead, based in Allah, and he healed those born blind and the lepers, based in Allah. You know what the Quran says? It says, no. Opportunity. Invite him home for a cup of tea. I'm showing you how to do the job. Invite him home for a cup of tea. He says, have you seen the Quran? He says, no. He says, look, I'll show you. You know what it says about Jesus? He says, no. Open. In this part, volume. Index. Jesus. He speaks about Jesus. First item. And the J. Jesus. First item. It says a righteous prophet. A true prophet of God. Second item. Second item. His birth. Chapter 3, verse 42 onwards. Chapter 19, verses 23 onwards. Open chapter 3 and read it to your Christian friend, your fellow countryman, your fellow worker. Take him home, man, for a cup of tea. If you can't afford a dinner, give him a cup of tea and some bhajas and samosas. And see what you can do with that. Wallah. You can perform miracles. Open the book. Chapter 3, Surah Ali Imran. Imran, chapter 3. Ayah 42, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wa is qalatil malaikatu ya Maryamu. So behold, the angel said, O Mary, inna Allah has tafaki, Allah has chosen thee, wa taharaki, and purified thee, wa stafaki ala nisa ala alameen, chosen thee above the women of all nations. I said, do you know, such an honor is not to be found in Mary, the mother of Jesus, even in your Bible. Did you know that? Did you know that? This honor that the Quran gives Maryam alayhi salam is not to be found in his Bible. Tell him so, it's not even in your Bible. His Holiness the Pope has written a book called Crossing the Threshold of Hope. No Muslim is likely to have this book, I'm telling you. No Muslim can. We are not a reading people, do you know that? We don't even read newspapers. If you read the newspapers, this hall would be packed. You know that? If our people were reading people, they would have read the newspaper. Damn it all, forget the pamphlet. If you read the newspapers, you would have come. Curiosity. Let's see, man, what this guy has to say. Curiosity. You even have got curiosity. You don't read newspapers. Bulk of us, I'm telling you, we don't even read newspapers. I see a review of this book in the Daily News. Mm -hmm. Then I said, well, what has that got to say? What will he say? How much is it? You know how much? 59.99. Are you hearing? Are you guys hearing? 59.99. If you gave 60 rands, 60 rands, you get this change, this one cent. Can you see this? If you gave 60 rands, you get one cent change for that book. 240 pages. In contrast, hardcover, gold embossed. Silk paper, silk paper. Five rands. I give you 12 of this for one of this. I give you 12 of this 
for one of this and the Muslim finds it expensive. He finds it expensive. I'm telling you, this is my nation. You will make me angry. Allah, you make me angry. The 60 rands less one cent. I give you six Qurans for the price of 60 rand. And one cent change, I'll give you two. 1,200 pages, 2,000 each. Six copies I give you for 60 rands. And one cent change, I'll give you. I give you six Qurans, 2,000 pages each. That's 12,000 pages as again 240 pages. For this one, I give you 12,000 pages and you feel it hard. Hmm. Can you make 10 rands each? And I say, if you can't afford it, come and see me. I'll give you free. Wallah, free. You just have to come and tell me, Uncle, said, look, I need the Quran, but I can't afford it. I want the book. I want the book. You say, did I? But I can't afford it. Wallah, I won't ask you for your bank balance, and I won't ask you how much you're earning and how you squandered your money. Mm -hmm. I'll give it to you free. But that too you can't do. You know that you're too damn proud, man, too damn arrogant. I'm telling you, you are an arrogant people. Somebody offers you something for nothing, even that you can't take. How miserable can you be? How miserable can you get? I want to know. I say, you know, to my sisters here, all the grown-ups, I want you to take one, it's free. That's for you. It's a great sacrifice on your part. Having come, you honor me, Wallah, I feel greatly honored. May Allah bless you all. Everybody gets this book. You people, five rands each. If you can't afford it, come and see me in the office. This Quran, ten rands each is available. Yes. Man, you need it. It'll improve your English, Wallah. This English that I'm talking with, I get, I'm a standard six Johnny. But I'm talking, you know, this Quran, Wallah, this Quran did the job for me. It improved my English. Hmm? Talk, 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 man. Then gives you an opportunity of this. Share the message. Deliver the message. Allow your children to read this. Make your children once a week, at least once a week, your son, your daughter. Then, then, there are You know, read it and explain to your mother. Read it and explain to your mother. Once a week, only once a week, don't be too greedy. Only once a week, after supper, hmm? ask your son. He said, read it and explain to your mother. You know what you're doing? You're making it to actively go through the mind of your child. And if you do it once a week, Inshallah, the family will grow together, unite together, respect and reverence for the parents, all that you can achieve and the knowledge. The child comes to know where I can find what. Any problems, let's go to the Quran. Let's see what Allah says. Let's see what Allah says. Very comprehensive index. Whatever you want to know, go to the index. You know about marriage in Islam and the M. You know about divorce in Islam and the D. You know about heaven or hell and the H. What do you want to know? Whatever you want to know on your fingertips. And how much? Ten rands. And if you can't afford it, I say, come and see me, I give you free of charge. So with these words, my dear brothers and sisters. Very interested. I mean, I really wish religious books were free for everyone. And I mean, for those that can afford, I mean, be able to afford it for, for those that can actually make it free for other people that can't, that would be very, very nice. But otherwise, even if it's cheap, there's a book that's for was it 59 i don't even know if it's dollars or rands and something that's five rands which one are you going to buy some people are so i don't know what i can say but otherwise i really don't know it's really up to you and what you like to read but at the end of the day ask yourself what am i learning from this book that i want to buy what am i learning from any of these books that i love to buy it doesn't have the two it doesn't have to be the two books mentioned in here I for one like to read. Am I going to spend it on that book that's uh, uh, just a novel that's going to entertain me or am I going to spend it on something that's going to benefit me in a religious manner? All those things have to be weighed in life. And now, and now we have no excuse. Most of us are using smartphones and most of us can find these holy books free online and really up to us to download that book have it in the in our phones tablets laptops and see what we can learn from there another thing he was talking about muslims and christians um i think dr zaki Naik's video said we should find the common ground in everything and grow on that and connect on that 
so if you can find something common and listen to what the other person has to say you also have to listen to the other person as well you'll find that there's more that you can learn and i mean growth has to start from somewhere let me know what you guys actually think about this video although it was cut but yeah let me see what you guys think about this what you learned from this what you can contribute towards this message and i'll be more than glad to read your comments make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video